And we're back here for the 2019 Northeast Arkansas Football Media Day. We have about five teams left to go, and the current team on the Sage is the Southside Southerner. Steve, uh, Kenny Simpson returns again for another season. They finished six and five last year, and uh, this is they were unable to attend Media Day last year, but we're glad to have them here today. Glad to have them because they kind of give us a different venue as far as their conference alignment. Right, you're They're right. In there with some Central Schools, Stuttgart, and CAC. Some and tough some schools. schools. Oh, very, very <laughs> tough conference. And the whole culture of Southside has changed athletically. Their whole athletic department, they're picked as a playoff team again this year. You're right about that. We're going to go ahead and go up to the stage uh, to Brandon as he introduces uh, Coach Simpson. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Southside and uh, Coach Simpson taking selfies real quick. There's nothing wrong with it, though. We got a nice <laughs> backdrop there. And, uh, <laughs> perfect time to do it. But appreciate you guys for coming out. And uh, Coach Simpson, if you don't mind, just a quick opening statement. Uh, well, first of all, we're grateful for you guys putting this on. I think it's a great deal for uh, high school football to have an atmosphere like this. And we're just excited to be here. You know, I'm, I'm so proud of these young men and uh, where our program has come, you know, I think not very long ago we had zero wins and, uh, and a lot of people probably wanted to schedule us and try to get better and better. And, uh, you know, it's a lot easier to coach, as I'm sure you guys understand, when you've got great athletes and with great attitudes. And real quickly, let's uh, name who you brought with you. Or... I brought my defensive coordinator, Coach Reardon, who I think is one of the best in the state. I'm glad he's still with me. I think it's uh, seven or eight years of us together, and we've really enjoyed it. Uh, my quarterback, who, who may not look like a quarterback, but we're really excited about how strong and physically is Brayden Jones. Uh, next to him is our running back, Alex Palmer. Uh, and then next to him is one of our offensive linemen, Cameron Morris. Uh, and they're sporting their nice big state championship weightlifting rings that we just won in April. Very excited about those. Coach Simpson, you talked about weightlifting. I saw your baseball team last year. The whole culture of Southside has improved tremendously. Baseball is a tradition-rich town itself, but tell us a whole other avenue with Southside. Talk to us about the change in culture at Baseball Southside. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, it starts with the kids. You know, one of the things that Southside has done a great job of, our administration all the way down, is that we're all about the students. Whatever's going to give them the opportunity to be great is what we want to do. We want to have servant leadership at the coaching level, and then just really enjoy these young men. And we've got some really great kids uh, that I've been blessed to coach. Uh, even when we weren't winning a whole lot early, they were great kids. And uh, fortunately, we've been able to uh, have an administration that allowed us to stay there long enough to uh, stick with us through some tough times. And now we're uh, reaping some benefits as these young guys, all they know is winning. And it wasn't that long ago that that was not the case at Southside. And like you mentioned, that to me, that goes above my head to the superintendent and to the athletic director uh, for instilling that across all our sports. Well, don't sell yourself short, Coach. You had a lot to do with that as well. Breaking it down to a technical standpoint, offensively first, what can we look for out of the Southside football team? Well, one of the things we preach, and you can kind of see the guys up here, we're going to be physical. Uh, we, you know, we, we want to play the game as physical as possible. Uh, we preach that as we go. I think we have a chance to have one of the best offensive lines that we've ever had. Possibly. Well, you got one of them playing quarterback. So. <laughs> <laughs> he was my tight end last year. So. No, you look good. I appreciate yeah. it. Well, and it, it, it starts, too, a little bit from that. You know, our skill players, like Alex right here, maybe the best blocking running back in the state. You know, they're so unselfish, and our receivers block well. But our offensive line, I feel, can be special. Uh, and so we're going to run the ball, and we're going to continue to run the ball until you stop it. And then we've got this one here that has, a, a, to me, a million-dollar arm. So if we have to throw the ball, we feel very comfortable in that as well. We are shotgun wing T. We put a lot on this young man right here before the snap to get us lined up, and he's uh, done such a great job this summer. We're very excited about what he can do. And when you get a dual threat, you know, when you're 220 and you can run the ball and you can throw the ball as a defensive coordinator, that's kind of a nightmare. Shotgun wing T is kind of an oxymoron for me. Explain technically, are you in front or behind the running backs? Go ahead. Oh, me. Uh, the running backs are beside me, to either to my left okay. or to my right. So it's kind of a, a, a yeah, the old boxing one, if you will, or whatever. A little spread. Basically, he's my fullback. If you're doing old school wing tee, we're yes. going to run the old trap and the belly with this one, okay. and the buck sweep with the other one. Okay. Defensively, what can we look at, or what's our base look like, and what are we going to do out of it? Yes, sir. Uh, we run a three-four. We got to kind of have a bend but don't break type mentality. I want to. I want to try to make the 
offense run 12, 14 plays. Most high school offenses can't do that. We had a ton of – we probably give up a ton of yards in a game, and at the end of the day, we may have 14 points given up, and that's the number one goal. We just say live to fight another play. Live to fight another play. I've been really fortunate. It's been actually nine years that we're going to be together. The reason I'm still there is he loves defense. He, he loves it, and he's going to let me have 11 studs, and he'll rest them on offense. So when you get to stack your defense like that, we're going to try to play defense first and then ground and pound. It's funny how football's come back around over the years. It's, it's kind of going back to that old school. You know, we're going to try to hold them a couple touchdowns and hope we can score one more. But we're looking – we got a couple young safeties that we were – I'm going to say it now because after today's team camp, I'm extremely excited about. I was a little, little bit nervous early in the year there in the summer, but they've come along. And if they can feel the spot of uh, – we had an All-State guy graduate last year. They could feel that spot. Got six other returners, including uh, Alex, who was my three-year starter inside linebacker. This guy actually started D-line for me as a 10th grader. <laughs> and if Coach Simpson would let me have Cameron Morris down there, and he will come conference time, uh, we, we, don't, we don't have any rules when it comes to conference time. It's win that I, and with whoever plays is going to play. And if he has to go both ways, he'll be on defense too. So, like I said, we're feeling pretty good about the uh, defense this year. That was my next question. Strictly two platoon until conference? Yeah, we try to do our best we can. Uh, Sometimes you, have, you know, sometimes you have to go ahead and roll a guy both ways. And like I said, he'll, he'll rotate. He gives me the, hey, get your 11, and then I'll rotate him on offense and give him a rest. But when you get to conference play, we're just going to do whatever it takes, you know. Then they know it. We'll tell them week four, we play Stuttgart. Get ready, boys. It's, <laughs> it's, if you got to play every snap, both sides of the ball win the game, that's what we're going to do. I see where you're coming from. As far as conditioning and everything, that's not a bad route to go. If you'll give it back to Coach Simpson, you mentioned a little bit Stuttgart. Talk about your conference, and your, I believe you picked fourth in Hootens. Uh, but talk about your biggest uh, challenges as far as the is it the four two a, four a two, and that's yeah, yes. correct. Uh, it's it's a tough conference. You know, we've been in it now for a long enough time that it took a while to just get competitive in that conference. You got traditional powers like Stuttgart. You got Lone Oak in there who's good. CAC is traditionally very good. Uh, you've got Eager Springs has kind of been a thorn in our side for several years. And, and, I, and I, you know, all of the, the bottom teams all hired brand new coaches. And so I feel it's going to be a very even conference and really any night anybody can win. Coach, I look at your non-conference schedule and, you know, you play teams more considered Northeast Arkansas. And we consider you guys Northeast Arkansas, yet you play in that conference that's further south. Uh, talk about playing the Northeast Arkansas schools in your non-conference schedule. Yeah, it's funny. We are wants to be a you know a partner of 4A3 with our non-conference. You know, Pocahontas is we we've scheduled them on purpose because they're traditionally very good. They're very well coached. They remind us a lot of Heber Springs uh, with athletes, really intelligent coaches, and they really get after it. And then we've got two ground and pounds there. You know, Cave City has come a long way with Coach. Uh, uh, Coach Brewstrom has been, done a great job with them, and also Truman is just a pound, pound, pound team. And so we get a little bit of every kind of flavor, um, and uh, we're very excited about the, the opportunity to play that. And like Coach Reardon uh, mentioned, we're going to treat those a little bit different. You know, we're probably going to play a lot more kids and be a little more vanilla than we would be in conference. But we're, you know, we, we play football, you're going you're gonna to play to win. All right. Uh, Alex, I just want to go to you for just a second. Carry the ball 139 times last year. I don't know what coach plans in terms, of, probably more than that. That's kind of what I figured. Uh, but he looks to, at you as potential to rush for over 1,000 yards. So that's got to be a vote of confidence coming from him, knowing that he's going to put the ball in your hands a lot of times. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, he's had confidence in me for since I moved up to senior ball. So he knew I was going to be good. And I'm just a hardworking guy. Try to shut the practice and put up as much effort as can. You know, it pays off in the season. And to the guy to your left, uh, talk about the position you play and the importance you bring to this football team. Uh, yes, sir. I play a strong tackle. And I just try to get my guys moved out of the way. So uh, keep them away from the quarterback or uh, get them out of the way so Palmer can come through and make a touchdown for us and put some points on the board. Coach definitely liked that answer. I saw. Well, these are great kids. Hard working. I hope that's the theme. That's what these guys are about. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Coach, it's probably also good you got some guys with some rings. Maybe they'll get used to that. You know, winning rings and continue on that that tradition as well. Um, 
But uh, I do want to say, just since we're in the summertime, have you noticed anything through summer? Maybe someone who has stuck out that you didn't expect to be a key contributor this year that has really performed well throughout the summer? Well, our general motto is anytime a sophomore does anything good, that's a surprise. And we've had probably five or six of them that have really impressed us. And I won't do names and I'm going to leave somebody out, but we've been very impressed with that class. It's not a surprise to me. I knew what Braden was going to be at quarterback, but anytime it's a new quarterback, you kind of what's going to happen here. You know, Kobe had done such a great job for us last year, uh, but the mantle has been passed, and Braden has done really, really well this summer. We're really excited about what he can do. And, you know, the other two have, have played those positions. We kind of knew what they were going to do. It's been great for us just to see how consistent we can be. You know, in years in the past, you've got holes, and we feel this year – you know, we've got improvement to make everywhere, but we don't have two or three guys we're going, I hope we can kind of hide that guy. <laughs> Coach, don't give me a, I think I'm right about this, but you had an all-state punter, correct, last night? Well, we had a, a great kicker. Was it one of our kickers? Kicker. I, I'm kicker. I was going to ask you about your special teams and your kicking game. Uh, well, the great thing for us is we're actually getting to replace a really good kicker with another one. Uh, and so we're excited about what he can do. You're probably looking at the punter over here because I love having my quarterbacks punt because it makes it tough on the defense, or it could even be Alex over here. You know, we want an athlete back there. Uh, and, and in the return game, we did lose a, a pretty special returner, but some of our younger guys have really stepped up in that role. And, and one of the things I think we've done really well, our special teams coach, Coach Weaver, has done a phenomenal job of making sure we've won games in that role and we want to continue to do so. Okay, hey, Coach Reardon, um, just kind of curious how your summer's gone. Is there anything you've kind of been hinting on specifically, uh, maybe an area of weakness of last year that needs to be a strength or a strength in this year? I, I definitely would say we've been hitting on the very simple, basic things this last couple of weeks with the team camps. We're fortunate to get to do a handful of those each year, so you know a little bit ahead of time before the season starts, what you got. We were just the real basic stuff, like our fits and, and, and flying to the football. I preached it all day in practice yesterday. We had a very mediocre team camp last week with some really good teams, Newport, Four City, some athletes, and Riverview. And uh, we went to another one uh, today with nine teams there. And we preached it all week. We watched film. And it was a phenomenal jump forward and uh, being in the right spot, lining up properly, flying to the ball. I try to keep defense as simple as I can. I mean, I want 11 dudes that want to get to the ball, and I want them to be very coachable. And uh, we, we do a lot of film watch. They have to be students of the game. We like to think we somewhat may outsmart some teams sometimes with our film study, and, and we, we do it excessively. So we, but we keep it simple, and we watch it so much during the week that come Friday night, you know, if we prepare it properly, it's rare to ever see a play. There, Nothing surprises us. And in our base 3-4 defense, we have rules for everything. So you could, we could practice the spread all week, and they could roll out in the double wing. And uh, my linebacker over here is going to get everybody lined up, and it's not, we're not even going to flinch. So and that's what simplicity does. And fly to the ball, know your fits, and you know, find 11 dudes that ain't scared. <laughs> that's the main thing. And again, it's always good to have guys on your team that are on the weightlifting team. That's and, right. And, and not just playing football and, and giving it up for the season. So that's a good deal. Yeah. Um, Coach Simpson, you want to give a closing statement? Sure. Yeah, and like I mentioned earlier, you know, we're blessed to I'm, – I'm blessed personally to be at a school where they allow us to be around, one, such great kids. We brought three with us. I could have brought 45 that are on our roster and been proud of all of them. Uh, I've got a great coaching staff. Uh, you know, I was able to bring Coach Reardon with me, but I've got six other coaches that could be here that do a phenomenal job also. And then our administration has put us in a position. We've got some of the best facilities in 4A, got the best fans, in my opinion, in 4A, uh, and we've got, in my mind, the best young men in 4A. It makes my job a lot of fun, and, and I don't feel like I'm working. I feel like I'm getting to, you know, mentor kids that are great kids. That's Southside Southerners. They'll be showing off those rings outside. Uh, once they leave the stage.